Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to dovetail in to what we've discussed in the last section and we're going to talk about something called the time constant of uh, the LR circuit, or in other words we're going to talk about time constants. So we'll have a discussion of the time constant of these LR circuits with inductors and resistors and then later on when we talk about capacitive circuits we'll have RC circuits with capacitors and resistors and we'll have time constants associated with those. So the concept of a time constant of a circuit is what we're going to talk about here, but just kind of keep in mind that this concept is going to carry over into other types of circuits later. So what we need to do before we can talk about that is just kind of refresh our memory just a little bit. Uh, notice that after we opened that switch in the previous section, we ended up with a very simple circuit where we had an inductor tied into a resistor. So we had an inductor tied into a resistor like that. And there was some initial current flowing in the inductor. We had a circuit that set that up. Um, and so once we disconnect the source, then we had the current that's going to decay. And now we know that that decay is exponential in nature. And we did a long discussion pretty much for the sole reason of deriving how that exponential decay is going to actually happen. But as I said before, you typically don't need to do differential equations in circuit analysis. We're going to use the results of the last section to solve future circuits. So um, that was more for your enlightenment. What we have learned is that this uh, current, really, is the following. Let me write it down here. Let me do it over here. I sub t is the initial value of the current flowing in this inductor ra uh, times e raised to the power to the minus r over l. And I'm going to put uh, it just like that, negative r over l times t. And we talked about what this meant. Basically, you have an initial current, and then this is the decay part of the equation, which pulls the whole thing down. Eventually, after a long period of time, then it becomes zero. So this is valid for t greater than or equal to zero. Now this is really the answer. I mean, there's nothing wrong with doing this. But what we do in circuits a lot of time is we define what we call the time constant of the circuit. In this case, since we have an LR circuit, we call it the LR time constant. And we calculate it and we're going to use it um, to really give us a deeper understanding of what's going on. I think it's just easier to talk about than to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to define the LR time constant. And the, the concept of a time constant is something you're definitely going to see in circuit analysis. So kind of get used to it. It's a very easy thing to understand if it's explained in the right way. We're going to define the time constant as the Greek letter tau. It's a T, but it's got like a squiggle for the top of the 